All right, folks, here we go. Super Bowl week from Las Vegas. Brian Blessing, bangthebook.com. Glad to be with you. We're going to have a lot of fun this week. We have a lot of prop videos, but one of the big events that happens every year wrapped around the Super Bowl is the Waste Management Open in Scottsdale, Arizona. And it's loud, it's raucous, and there's an opportunity to make some noise at the betting windows as well. Half a million people are going to go to watch this tournament over four days. It's a great event. I think the wrong guy's favorite, John Rahm's really good. Seven to one, played at Arizona State. He's in great form. He's number six in the world. I get it, but Hideki Matsuyama, uh, the odds makers giving him a lot of respect. He's on the board at 12 to one. He won it two years in a row. Last year was going for the three-peat, and he had a wrist injury, and he's coming into this event off a really solid showing at Torrey Pines. So Matsuyama is very much a guy to consider. Uh, I also think Tony Finau is going to have a great year, and I think he has not played well here, but this could be the time he wakes up on this course. His power, his depth touch around the greens. Finau is an interesting guy at 18-1. to 1. You know, the main guys are still here. Uh, Justin Thomas, he's, he can go low, string birdies together on the board at 9-1. to 1. Xander Shoffley is now a threat every time he tees it up at 18-1. to 1. And, of course, Phil Mickelson will get raucous fan support. Uh, played at Arizona State. They love him there. He knows how to win this event, and he's in good form, 20 to 1 on lefty. But as is always the case, I do think there's a way to go price hunting out of the gate, and then with in progress wagering heading into the weekend, you can reload. And if Justin Thomas is five shots back, you maybe get Thomas at 16 to 1, an overlaid price. That's usually my strategy. There are some long shot plays, I think. Are of note. I think Cameron Smith comes in here getting respect from the odds makers, but 30 to 1 is a really juicy price for the young Aussie. I, I would draw a comparison that Smith's game now is where Xander Shoffley's game was a year ago, and I think Cameron Smith is going to have a big year, and 30 to 1 is a nice number. But I will throw one at you. And in fact, this kind of came to my attention as I was doing the sports betting podcast with Adam Berg, and I saw him on the board, and then I reflected back to Sunday, and man, did he look good at Torrey Pines in the final round, and he's got game. Taylor Gooch is on the board at 80-1. to 1. Who's Taylor Gooch? Well, his last three tournaments, he's finished 14th, 4th, and 3rd. Uh, that's a great resume, and he looked great in the final round Sunday at Torrey Pines. Not a lot of people know about the guy, and he's still a bomber price on the board for you, and clearly current form is very good. And maybe he's on the precipice of kicking the door down. So I think it's a guy like Taylor Gooch at 80 to 1 is a guy to take a look at. And I refuse to get off the Sung Jai Im bandwagon. This is a young player still at 80 to 1. Believe me, he's got game. Uh, he's got to learn to string four good rounds together. He has two really good rounds and a, a bad round or two, a bad hole or two. Once he takes that snowman element out of it where he has the big number that really puts him behind the eight ball once that consistency kicks in and that comfort level of being on the pga tour weekly kicks in i really believe sung jayim is going to win a tournament soon and 80 to 1 is going to be gonzo i mean he's going to be 25 30 to 1 once this guy starts to find the winner circle so it's cost me in the short term here but when he hits the reward's going to be there uh, so the shot, the price plays for me: Cameron Smith at thirty to one, Taylor Gooch at eighty to one, and Sung Jae Im at eighty to one. It's a loud, raucous event. The other thing is, I mean, the crowd is so loud there. Some guys respond to it and relish it, and other guys get distracted by the noise and react poorly if they get booed for a bad shot. So, you know, you got to be strong between the ears to win this event. And we're hoping the guy that does is a big price, and he's one of the guys we landed on. Follow me on Twitter at Brian Blessing. Follow along right here at Bang the Book on Super Bowl week. It's the Waste Management Open, and we're going to have a lot of prop videos for you, so keep it right here.